Hey everybody, <clears throat> oh, it's been a long drive yesterday, a lot longer than I wanted it to be. Um, got to see my little brother over in Twin Lakes, Kansas. Beautiful place, great idea. Oh my God, is whoever whoever thought of that is a genius. Um, we are currently in Goodland, Kansas, and the best part about being in Goodland, Kansas, right now is it is 72 degrees. It rained this morning like you would not believe, and it was amazing. The, the heat, there is no heat today. Um, as you see, the, the skies behind me are beautiful blue. So what I'm doing is, is I'm going up to the KOA camp. We stopped at the KOA campgrounds. Um, I have a history with KOA. Back in the day, they weren't the greatest place in the world, so this KOA campground is actually pretty good. So we, I'm fixing to flip the screen around, I hope, so if I do it right. And uh, the guys, every time I look on the KOA campground website, I'm usually seeing about $50, $60 a night. Well, that's a freaking hotel room. Um, and I got a hotel room hooked up to my car. So I don't feel like playing that much. But if you're driving a long, hard night, long, hard day, then staying and popping the night is not that bad of a deal. Uh, uh, of a deal. The deal with this one, though, I found it for around 30 ish dollars. A little bit better than that. But let me go ahead and flip this around so I can show you what I'm talking about. Here we are in beautiful Goodland, Kansas. Now, Tammy saw this place. The minute she saw all the land out here, <laughs> she goes, what the hell does anybody do with this much? What? It just keeps going and going. And I'm like, yeah, yes, that's what I try to explain to you. But as you can tell, you walk in, or you drive in, but to the right. So you've got, they say that they tour that house right there. I, I personally don't think, I think that's one of those houses up on, you know, up on the side of the hill that needs to be torn down. Uh, anyway, but they got a little playground, dog park. If you've already got a reservation, put your reservations up in the laundry room. And, oh, the merry-go-round of death. So the office is right there. Bathrooms are to the right. Laundromat is on the back. Bathrooms have showers in them. And then they're actually pretty good showers. Nothing stinks. It's all clean. I just met the caretaker for today. And he is he is actually pretty awesome. He was telling me some stories about here in Goodland, Kansas. And yes, there is a pool. I do not know if it's heated. I would almost say maybe because those solar panels right there usually do the uh, solar power heating. So maybe I can come and bring bring Tammy over here and push her in and find out. Pool hours, 1.30 till dark. Oh, okay, well then that makes sense. So when you come in like I did last night, office is up front. You can pull up and register if they have something available. If they don't have some, or if they have something available and they're closed, there actually are registration slips in the uh, office that um, you can fill out and put out. The other thing that I found out about this campsite is it's got dog park in the front and the back. Oh, somebody's dog is actually out. Oh, whoops. Anyway, um, has cabins seat to the back. They's got some of its own cabins, so you don't have to be having an RV or anything like that. These are all campsites. There are backup and then there are pull through. Like I said, there's a bunch of backups. They do require the uh, most dogs be on the leash, but I just saw somebody have a wild dog. Said your tent camps are to the back. 
Like I said, these are the more pull throughs. Most of the pull throughs do have electric water and electric water and sewer hookup. And then there is a dump up towards the front if you need one. And I'm getting barked at. Yay! Because I'm not paying attention to the dog. And while I've got you guys out here, and I know she's not on this live, look, I appreciate you guys uh, getting over on the lives because it's building her confidence back up into being a person again. Said all since all this stuff has happened, she's been torn down, thinking that she's no good as far as a phlebotomist or doing her job in the medical field and stuff like that. And the people she worked with, unfortunately, my crew at the ER did a great job i mean they they love her to death and they keep talking to her and stuff like that her crew at the hospital they shunned her away not one person at the hospital in the emergency room has said asked to see even half she's doing um that i just I, i'm <sighs> that part of north side i'm ashamed to say still happens said so love my hospital love my er it's and i miss it but I really, you know, I wouldn't trade it for this in the world. Said, I just got to figure out how to make this full time for her. So you got the trash dumpsters in the front and the back. Electrical lines, I said, it's all hookup. They do have 20, or excuse me, they do have 30 and 50 amp hookups. But you got to have to tell them the amperage otherwise they'll put you in the wrong spot and you can't hook up properly One thing about this, they say they have Wi-Fi. They do have Wi-Fi. Uh, but if you're away from that building right there and it's full park, yeah, you may or may not have Wi-Fi. <laughs> it, it, it's a hit and miss because it's not that strong of a single signal. It's ticking me. I actually have my laptop in the building with full signal strength and it's taking me 25 minutes so far to upload a three minute video that i've got to put up on youtube so i've got to do something better for wi-fi that i can afford there is a great little company called wine guard and they have a great wi-fi wi-fi well, that's pretty cool i didn't see that before you know they have a great little system but that system is 674 dollars a month and then you got to be a disc subscriber I'm like, oh, geez, or $674, and then you got to be a disc subscriber for however much for that. I just, no, I can't afford $674 as a drop. Uh, guy in the yellow shirt is the campground host. I have no idea what he's doing. He's looking like he's prepping up for another RV. Um, each this little spot, if you notice the orange cones, well, each little spot usually has them, and it marks where the power is at. And if you notice the yellow, there it is on the slots. Well, those are your markings for where your wheels should be at to be hooked up to. So it does have ice. So the laundry room's here. Yes, you think I'm wearing a mask right now. I said I've loaded up and got my glass of tea. Oh, I guess my dryer my dryer's done. Um so you come in tonight, like we do a night registration, come in. If you already have registered, they'll hang it up on the side there. So for you to do dishes, if you're a tent camper, or you have no ability to do dishes, if you're smart, you buy paper plates and throw them in the trash. But you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. The women's is probably just the same as the men's. Crap. 
Lost my shoe. Women's is probably just the same as the men's. What I like about this, if you notice, the showers are up. Your entryway into the shower is up. But it's actually, and it sets back down where it doesn't, and it goes out. There's this. Okay, much better. I'm one hand, I'm walking around with one hand holding my scrubs and one hand holding the door, holding the phone. So, and that is it. That is us. I think that's everything. The women's is over here. And that's the two bathrooms. Flip that. Look, guys. Love you. Appreciate everything you guys are doing, really. Tell people what's going on. Hey, Charles. Hey, man. Yeah. Jeez, hadn't heard you. Anyway, tell everybody what's going on. Get some people to like and subscribe on our channel. The more we can get people over there, we can start doing live video stuff over there. And I just can't wait. I just, I really and truly can't wait until we make this sustainable and to where she can even de-stress even more. But to all you guys out there, and I love you. So take care, and I'm going to get to work on this video right now. Talk to you later. Bye.